Hi everyone, it's Laurel here, and I'm here today with something a little bit different than I normally do. I'm going to be melting some of the Faber-Castell gelatos to create some art. I actually wanted to create something for my daughter's room. So you guys know how much I love this gelato, so this is what I'm actually going to be creating today. And that frame, the inside, all that color and that texture, goodness, it is so cool, so different and unique, and so much fun to do. So to get started, this is just a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. It's the thicker kind, so it's the 100 and pound, 100 pound cardstock. And I'm laying over the top, top some sticky back canvas by Claudine Helmuth. Now, in hindsight, uh, I'm going to cover up most of this canvas with the gelato, so you're not going to see the canvas texture coming through. So I really didn't have to use the canvas, but uh, I did. And uh, I guess because I knew it was going to be art, I definitely wanted something over the top that was going to kind of reinforce it but again really didn't have to use this in hindsight because not much of the underlying uh, a canvas is showing through but I do advise using some of the heavyweight cardstock that you have Simon says stamp makes 120 pound Nina makes 100 pound if you don't have the thick cardstock that's okay you can maybe layer two pieces together uh, so anyway I've gone ahead and uh, got that all stuck down I love that sticky back canvas makes it very easy to just kind of push it down into place and push out all those wrinkles and anytime I use gelatos, I always prime my surface with some gesso. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Gesso is like a primer. It makes your surface not as porous. So the gelatos really stick well and blend beautifully. So I, just like you were going to paint walls or paint furniture, you typically would prime it first. That's what I'm doing with this gesso here. Now these are the color gelatos that I chose to work with. Uh, they're, I'll link all the uh, colors up in my blog, the blog or the gelato names if it's something that you're interested in but I'm just taking the little tool there and I'm hacking off an edge and in a minute I'll realize that if I use the side of my tool instead of the tip it's a lot easier to kind of hack it off I don't know what I was thinking but uh, it's just a lot easier so I'm using a combination of the double scoop and the regular size gelatos now if I had the double scoop and all these colors I would have definitely used the double scoop because it uh, you'll see what I mean in just a minute I had to use more of the the single and kind of apply layers with the single than I did with the double but that's okay I went with the colors that I have and and obviously I still haven't figured out here we go use the side of the tool there you go finally Laurel I can I can be taught so anyway I decided to go with some pinks and some blues and some purples and I'm just again hacking off the tip of the gelato you get so much gelato and these little sticks so don't be worried about cutting off uh, the ends it's no big deal it's super cool when you uh, when you start to melt it. So I've gone ahead and temporarily, temporarily adhered that uh, card base there to my clipboard, uh, clipboard, cutting board. And I'm going to go ahead and place the gelato colors. I'm going to place them up at the top where I want them to be as far as the color goes. So I decided I didn't have enough because I decided I was going to do a horizontal card instead of a vertical one. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up some more. And I've got that all laid out there on the top and then I'm going to go and just hot glue the uh, the gelato onto the cardstock. I tried regular glue and glossy accents and stuff like that. This hot glue just worked better. So uh, don't burn yourself please. I did burn myself here because I was trying to go fast. Uh, so just you know take it slow. You're working with hot glue here. Just be careful not to burn yourself. I always get those little cobweb things all over the place too but that's okay. I just kind of brushed them out of the way. So here I go. I've kind of sped up the process here so you're not completely bored, but I'm going in with my heat tool and I am melting the gelatos. You can see how they're starting to do their dripping. It's really, really, really neat. Now, I kind of worked with this. This did take me some time because I was playing around with it to get it exactly how I wanted it. So, I mean, it's just fun. So I'm taking my tool there and kind of mushing some of the color down to help the melting along. Those double scoop are really thick, so they took longer to melt than the, than the single scoop, but you get a lot more of it. So again, I'm just going to go in with my heat tool here and just melt away. And it doesn't take long for these gelatos to dry. They're like crayons. They instantly dry hard. So if you want to kind of move or get some more texture or, or do anything with the gelatos that's dried, you can do that. You can just add some heat and it'll melt it up again. And you can kind of move it around with your tool. Or I use the cutting board and kind of move the handle around to get those dripping looks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music here, and you can kind of just watch me work. I end up adding a few more colors, and then I'll go and reheat some of the uh, color that's already dried up so I can start moving it around with my little tool there. So I'm just going in and having a ball. I'm going to go in and add some white in just a few minutes, too, to kind of lighten up the color. So 
I'm going to turn on some music. Enjoy! Okay, so I've got that all happy and situated. You can see how I was constantly re reheating up some things so I could move the already dried up color around, and then I went in and added some more colors. So it's really just however you want to do it. Now your heat tool does get obviously very hot, so please be careful if you try this technique. And also when you're melting the gelatos, you get some kind of the steam from the gelatos, so you might get yourself a little facial at the same time. But this was so much fun. So now I'm going in with a white big brush pen. You can also use a white gelato if you wanted to just to kind of soften up some of those areas with some deep color. And then once I'm satisfied with how it looks, I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to scribble it off onto my craft sheet to remove that uh, excess gelato that's on the tip of my marker until I'm going to scribble away until I see no longer see the purple or the pink. And then look at this. This is so cool. It's all hard and textury and pretty and kind of melty, waxy looking. I just think it's super neat. So I went ahead and took that small levy die from Simon Says Stamp and I die cut it six times with some black cardstock and then I just layered it on top of each other. I absolutely, that's not my favorite thing to do, uh, but I really wanted the dimension from, from the layering of the die cuts to, to stand out. So now I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle, so I'm going to take my Versamark pad there and just put the uh, Love You die face down into the Versamark and then I'm going to take some of this sparkle black uh, embossing powder. And, and heat set it with that. So I'm just making sure that I've got all the, the Versamark onto my die cut here. And I'm just dumping it into my tub of embossing powder. I mean, it's not the most uh, gracious look, but hey, it works for me. I'm making sure I'm getting it nice and coated. <laughs> so I'm going to take my tweezers there, and I'm going to pick up the die, and then I'm going to blast it with my heat gun. And then you just get this really fun sparkle. And I like to use the sparkle and embossing powder over the glitter because I always make a mess with glitter. I don't know what it is. I just, me and glitter are not very good friends. So I love these embossing powders, the liquid platinum, the black with the sparkle, the white with the pink with the sparkle. They're all fabulous and they work really well for me because like I said, me and glitter, I just don't know if we're ever going to be besties. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to see. But anyway, I love this embossing powder. Uh, it's fantastic, and that I'll link that up in the supply list below in case it's something that you're interested in. And once I've got that all heat set, I've gone ahead and mounted it and framed it, and this is it. This is in my daughter's room. I absolutely love the texture of these gelatos. They are so cool. If you're interested in any of the supplies or anything, please check out the description below and head on over to my blog where I'll have a couple more details and pictures and also a picture of this frame in my daughter's room.